This ultrasound study is that of a 70 years old male. Uh, he had cholangiogram performed for the uh, purpose of uh, ruling out CBD calculus or uh, as per the report I have or a stricture whereas the ultrasound report before this procedure shows uh, distended gallbladder full of uh, sludge with a, a 3 mm calculus impacted in the GB neck region. Now this what I am saying you is before the uh, intervention and report procedure and the procedure was uh, T-tube insertion for cholangio, uh, to perform cholangiogram. Now after the procedure even I can see that uh, and I want to share with you that this is uh, the bulb of uh, the tube that you are seeing within the G gallbladder. This one, this is the tube, uh, bulb, sorry, bulb of the T tube and this is the gallbladder. In fact, this is gallbladder in longitudinal section and uh, you can see a pit and stent with an, uh, a stent like structure within the uh, lumen of the gallbladder. This is the, uh, in fact, the T tube that was inserted for cholangiography. Now, this, this, the, it is patent. The lumen is clear, but this is the lumen of the gallbladder. So there is, uh, it's by itself, no pathology seen relating to the uh, gallbladder, uh, except that its wall is thick and. Uh, may uh, not take even rather 2.3 mm, but it is uh, seen surrounded by, the wall is not thick rather, it is surrounded by hypopoic rim of uh, fluid around, uh, which is uh, again not pathological, it's because of the adjacent liver parenchymal uh, disease and uh, which is uh, in fact suggestive of uh, chronic liver disease and the liver is enlarged. The outer surface as you will see here is mildly irregular, not that much but is irregular. Now this view shows you, this is the, I am showing you the yeah, yeah. You see this is the head of the pancreas, this is the duct duct is now dilated, 1.9, keeping in view the age of the patient. And uh, then, you see this is the left lobe of the liver in front of you, and you can see dilated ducts, intrahepatic bile duct ductasia is seen. These ducts are, sorry, these uh, are the dilated uh, ducts and this can be seen in uh, right group as well. Now, this is, uh, now this is the, excuse me, this is the portal vein, it measures 7.8 or 8.8 and then this is the dilated common bile, common hepatic duct rather, measuring 8.8 .8 up to 7 is normal. This uh, cystic area that you are seeing is the hepatic artery. Yes, you see the liver is coarse uh, with diffuse increased uh, parenchymal echogenicity. Mm, to prove that uh, this, this tubular structure is not a vessel, you can see that this is the portal vein showing a petrofetal flow, normal direction flow. This is the common bile duct. And, because, and, and, and duct will never show you a, a, a flow within it. So this is a duct. Now going further into the study. I can trace uh, this uh, duct up to its most distal end and its most distal end is where it courses uh, 
it courses the posterior inferior surface of the head of the pancreas. Now this area is the head of the pancreas. Just a this is the head of the pancreas. This area. And uh, in the center you are seeing this is the duct. Now this is the length of the common bile duct. Measures 7.5 centimeters in this region. In length, and length is impor of importance to the surgeon if you provide uh, the length of the common bile duct as then the uh, surgeon decides which procedure he will is going to perform. Uh, now this is the liver, common bile duct, head of the pancreas, well this is the aorta, right renal vein coursing between and then this is the IVC in this uh, location and uh, the common bile duct measures 9 mm in this location. And again, it's more than expected normal. A case of uh, obstructive jaundice, a chronic liver disease with obstructive jaundice and uh, with no dilation, no, no focally and or any other pathology seen relating to the pancreas. See, this is the body of the pancreas in transfer section, this area. This is the pyrimesenteric vein, this is pyrimesenteric artery and this is the duct, uh, uh, pancreatic duct in longitudinal section. Now the salilo. Uh, uh, portal vein shows the velocity of approximately 37.2 centimeter flow, blood flow velocity is uh, 37.2 centimeter up to 18 is considered to be normal so it's raised going back to normal IVC this is the quadrant loop ligamentum venosum, IVC coursing posterior to it. And you can see the, that intrahepatic ducts are dilated. These, these are, this is the dilated duct. You will not see flow in it. No blood flow will be seen in that, in this region. See, this is a, and this is the duct, no flow in this area. Similarly, wherever you will see a duct, there will be no flow within it. So this is a case of obstructive jaundice because of cholangiogram uh, tube that has been uh, placed in the uh, within the gallbladder with fit and stunt scene. Uh, this is the stunt, not a vessel. You will not see any blood flow through it. See, this is the, not a stunt, rather T tube uh, and the lumen, the clear lumen. This is the lumen of the gallbladder. So no flow seen. This is the bulb. Again, no flow seen, no blood vessel seen. This is the wall of the gallbladder. So, a case of obstructive jaundice. Of benign cause. Thank you very much.